welcome to our moon circle today we are celebrating new moon in libra i'm here with tracy hi tracy hello hi everyone and my name is Dee, and we are from we knew the moon so what we want you to do is carve out an hour or so to take some time for yourself to properly reflect on what this new moon can bring for you and what you want it to bring and how you're going to do that etc cetera, etc cetera. get yourself comfortable Find your sacred space, your comfy spot. It might be in the garden if you wrap up warm. It might be in your, if you've got a little nook or something, get a little blankie. I'm going to tell you about some crystals and aromas that you might be interested in oils to use today. We'll go into more details about these after the guided meditation, but you might be interested to know these now so that you can set them up around you if you have them. Good crystals for this time of the lunar cycle and the zodiac are sapphire, lovely one. Nice expensive one, Dee, yeah, to start no. off with. Have, have some sapphire <laughs> lying around, grab that now. <laughs> um, Actually, you, you can get different grades of it, so it doesn't yeah, need to be you might have some in, ring. You might have some jewellery, family heirloom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sapphire, tourmaline, rhodonite, and turquoise. Oh, really nice actually for the meditation we're going to do today i really strongly suggest rhodonite because we're going to be working on the heart chakra so rhodonite's perfect and all the others tie in really nice with the theme but also if you've got any of the crystals for the heart so anything green is perfect green aventurine um or your rose quartz the good all-rounder is just clear quartz or clear quartz yeah exactly really which nice um is a kind of substitute for any crystal but also just go for whichever one you feel drawn to. So in terms of, we call them aromas because you can use them in cooking or you might have a candle or you might use essential oils or incense or whatever. However, you decide to use these smells or diffuse these smells, I really recommend chamomile, very calming. Dill, not many people have dill essential oil. <laughs> You um, can get it as an oil, you can, but, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> More for cooking, though. And I don't know why I'm laughing a bit, because I love my um, oregano, or oregano, as some people like to say. Also, my rosemary one, I love. So maybe dill is one I should get. Eucalyptus, fennel, geranium, peppermint, palmarosa, which is a really grounding one that mixes very nice with, probably very nice with peppermint, actually, lavender and thyme. So Big list got, today. I know. So you've got lots of options. Um, feel free to, if you've got any of those um, floating around in your oil collection or candles or whatever, or again, just whichever one, you know, whatever oils help you relax. These are always just a guide, aren't they? Really nice mixture. You've got your peppermints and your eucalyptus, which I think are Libra's a sign of air. So those two oils are really nice for air and communication. Um, then like maybe for a meditation, you've got lavender and chamomile. They'd be really nice to get you relaxed um, for the meditation. What we're going to do today, the format of this moon circle, is Tracy's going to take us through a lovely guided meditation, especially for a new moon in Libra. And then we're going to go through a few of the journaling points and see what comes up and everything. So make sure you've got your journal to hand or whatever you like to take notes on, your diary, whatever it might be, electronically. Over to you, Tracy. Oh, thanks, Dee. Yeah, welcome everyone to New Moon in Libra. So before I start the meditation today, I just wanted to quickly explain Libra, a few key words and its energy so we can understand this new moon. If you look up the symbol for Libra, it is the sign of scales, which symbolizes balance. They're very much people that like to like weigh up the pros and cons, balance in life. They like fairness and being diplomatic. It's very peaceful, so not very, doesn't enjoy arguments, very polite. It's a sign of air as well, so very intellectual. And it's a cardinal sign, so they really like to sort of rule the way and communicate and be quite outgoing. So I actually think it's a really lovely sign, Libra. It's a really nice balancing one. And today I think one of the key words we need to take is balance. Libra is all about relationships, it's passion, it's the things that you love. So today, Bringing in mind that the keywords are love and balance, I want us to do a meditation based around opening our heart chakra. So it's a heart chakra meditation. 
the heart is placed right in the middle and it joins the upper chakras, which is more to do with your spirituality, and your lower chakras, which are more to do with your root. It joins them both. So it's a really lovely balancing one. So today, focusing on the heart, we want to work in this meditation to open the heart and bring about love, send love, find balance with love. Just to quickly summarize, this might ring true with some of you. An overactive heart chakra can mean that you get too attached to people or things. You can be too demanding of love. You can be be giving too much love. You can be ruled by your emotions. Or an underactive heart chakra means that you feel unloved, you're lonely, you're not empathetic towards other people or you don't feel attached to people, you can't trust people, you're very isolated and separated, so completely opposite. If everyone can just get comfortable. Now, for the heart chakra, you need to be in a position where your spine is straight. So either lying flat on the floor or sat upright in a position where you don't feel strained. And let's begin. I want you to close your eyes and focus on your breathing just for a moment. Breathe in and out and just let your body get into a natural rhythm. You may be breathing fast, you may be breathing slow, you may be tense. You may already be relaxed because you've got all your lovely essential oils. Just get into your natural rhythm and flow of your body and your breath. And as always with all of our meditation, We're going to just do a quick body scan, starting at the feet and rising up through the body, making sure everywhere is really nice and relaxed as we begin to let go and wind down from the stresses of the day. Starting at your tippy toes, scan up the body through your knees to your hips, to your heart, in your shoulders, in your arms, your hands, in your fingers, back up through the shoulders, to the neck, in the eyes as we just relax and rest into our body's natural rhythm and breathing. And when you're ready, I want you to place your left hand, perhaps it's holding a crystal that we've suggested onto your heart and have your right hand in a relaxed position with your palm facing up, ready to receive. Notice your breathing. Nothing's forced today. Just notice as you breathe in, as you receive energy. Imagine receiving all that air and energy from everything around you. And when you breathe out, you're releasing and you're giving energy. That balance of breathing in to receive and breathing out to give. Relax your body and really settle into the soft breathing as we begin to open up our heart chakra and create awareness around us. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth.
Breathing in through the nose and out. And as we breathe in, I want us to imagine our chest expanding as we open up our heart and we open up our awareness to the space around us. And as we breathe out, we surrender and we let go. So we're really breathing in, expanding that chest, pushing our heart out and our energy to all the space around us, exhaling our breath out as we surrender. And hopefully now we're all relaxed into our breathing and we're comfortable and all that tension has been released. And now I want us to visualise a really nice green light radiating towards us and into our hearts. I like to imagine Emerald City. It's all twinkly and sparkly and glittery. Some of you may imagine a really nice warm emerald green. It's flowing into our heart. And as we breathe in this green light, we can feel its cosy, warm energy radiating through us. And with each breath, the green expands through our body. And we allow the light to glow and flow through as it radiates around us. Our green light is our energy, it is our love. We breathe it in and we breathe it out as a symbol of our love. So breathe in, that warm, green, beautiful, soft glow. And breathe it out. Breathing in. And out. Each breath can get a little deeper if you're able and each breath brings more light, love and energy as we really try to bring in lots of love and light into our heart. And when you're ready, and you feel like you have your nice warm green glow and you're relaxed and you're cozy and you're warm, I want you to visualize. Slowly into your thoughts, I want the people you love to enter, see their faces, hear their voices, Who is closest to you? Think about them. Love them. Let them receive your green loving light. Allow your love to radiate from your heart to these people. It could be partners, it could be friends, it could be family. It could be future partners. It could be pets. Whoever first came to your mind as faces or thoughts or voices, allow them to receive your love and your warm green glow.
And when you're ready, let their faces fade. As again, we take a deep breath in. We receive love. And we breathe out as we give love. And when their faces have faded and you're ready, and now I want you to visualize a face, a voice, a feeling of a person you've had a slightly tough relationship with. Someone you need to forgive, someone you need to let go, someone you've recently argued with, someone you dislike. Hear them, feel them, see them, but importantly, keep that green glow, that love, that heart chakra open. Keep that feeling flowing that you felt when you saw people you loved previously as you picture a more tricky person. And as you see that face, again, let the warm green glow, the glitter, the sparkle, the emerald city flow through and radiate them. As you wish them love, you wish them well. You breathe in that love and you breathe out that love as you let go. Breathing in and on your breath out, release those faces, release those thoughts, release those feelings. Just hold on to the love that you let radiate around your body. And again, we're going to breathe in. As we receive and out as we give. Continuing our green glow. And again, when you're ready, we're now going to visualize Ourself. You may be looking in a mirror. It may again just be a feeling, or you hear yourself, or you feel yourself, or you are yourself, and you spread that love, and you give yourself that love and that green light and that glow and that energy, because you can't love without loving yourself first. Feel that warmth, that love, that green glow radiate around your body as you hug yourself and you open up your heart. And again, as we breathe in to receive and out to give. Breathing in and out. And when you're ready, give your toes a little wiggle and your shoulders a little shake as we come back to the room. And we leave our visualization and meditation. Slowly open your eyes. Come back to the room. And give yourself a minute
hopefully you enjoyed that meditation everyone hopefully that meditation worked for you and your heart chakra does feel a little bit more balanced there's other things you can do to work on your heart chakra day to day we've mentioned the color green before you think it would be pink right Dee? when i think of heart and valentine's day and love you think of like all things pink rose yeah, pots, yeah? I mean, it makes sense when you look at the you know the chakra charts for example because it's all it looks like a rainbow and so it makes yeah. sense why would the heart not be pink but it's not i'm no, sorry everyone it's green yeah. <laughs> bearing that in mind surround yourself with green green crystals or rose quartz walks in woodland or nature because a lot of the trees and plants are obviously green eat a lot of green food so sorry to say a lot of lettuce a lot of broccoli drink a lot of green juices as well there's a lot of mantras or affirmations you can say and um, maybe have a little look up or write one yourself about love and keep that affirmation close basically try and keep this theme of love and green in your life to work on your heart chakra to find that balance um and hopefully if you do it like i say during libra scales love balance this energy it'll all tie in and you'll have a good new moon i love that meditation thank you so much for that one tracy oh you're um, welcome so we went through already the aromas the oils and the, the crystals for this session got a little description about this time let me read it to you new moon in libra it is the time to wipe the slate clean because it's a new moon and focus on your new goals again because it's a very good time for setting intentions for the upcoming lunar cycle you're craving balance right now makes sense after everything we talked about libra and you're probably not feeling very courageous or adventurous probably because that libra sign is all about balance and diplomacy. It's not the risk taker, is it? It's a very peaceful sign. Doesn't like conflict, doesn't like arguments, doesn't like anything that could tip the balance. So that makes sense as well. Yeah, definitely. But don't sweep things under the carpet, which is what you might be tempted to do if you don't want to rock that boat. But that's never helpful. So you need to, at this time, focus a little bit on expressing yourself. Just make sure you're heard, make sure you stand up for yourself or what you believe in or your point of view or your project or whatever it is. Make sure that you are not just letting things lie because you want to avoid that conflict because that is not going to help in the long run, is it? Things to do at this point in time. We've already talked about setting intentions. As with every new moon, it's a really good time to think, what do I want to achieve during the next four weeks between now and the next new moon? It's a really good time to focus on your appearance and other things that make your confidence grow. Because if you are in need of making sure you stand up for yourself and you are heard when you want to be heard and when you need to be heard, it doesn't hurt to feel more confident in order to do that. And, and it's also loving yourself as well, isn't exactly. it? But on top of that, pampering yourself, telling yourself you deserve things like that are also really important for boosting your self-esteem. And we are by no means, like if you could see how we're filming now, we are by no means telling you that you have to go and get Botox and wear your high heels and get your chest out. Like we're both sitting here in tracksuits. I hope you're not doing screenshots of this today. No, not today. <laughs> Neither of us have makeup on. So it's not that. But anything that you can do with your appearance, whatever that means for you, that will make you feel just, you know, happy. The other thing to do is to try to relate to others. So have you felt a bit distant, disconnected? Now's the time to kind of reach out, to look at, to, you know, have a little think if you're journaling, write down what, why that might be, who that might be with. Is there anything you can do? Is there more understanding you need to have with someone else? And I've put here, this is one of my favorite things to do. Activities that make you forget what time it is. You know, we all remember when we were kids and we'd go around and play at our friend's house or go play in the street or, you know, be watching TV and getting so sucked in or whatever. Things that make you completely forget what time of day it is. Mm. It's really rare as grown-ups because we're sitting on our computer or we're sitting on our phone and all of them have the time and we feel like we're scrolling just to fill time. That's not what I mean. I mean activities and seeing friends or talking to friends where it literally makes you, you know, you don't realize that an hour has passed. It felt like three minutes. All right, so affected organs. Take special care of the following during this moon phase. Kidney, 
the latter skin and pancreas. The element, as you said already, is air. So that's linked to your intellectual, analytical, communicative, curious, perceptive, and inventive. There's uh, the tongue twister, D, those words today. Yay. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Libra's ruling planet is also Venus, which, oh. sorry, I didn't say that. I really wanted to add that. Which would make sense why it's all about the heart and yeah. the love. The tarot suit that's uh, linked to air and therefore, which Libra is linked to, is the um, sword, which is logical, reasonable, intellectual, impartial, just, and decisive. Now, obviously, though, all of those words are very linked to this idea of balance and diplomacy. The suggested affirmation we have for you this lunar cycle, and again, if you want to take this as a suggestion and build on it and make it more personal to you, please do. It's just a suggestion affirmation that we recommend you either say to yourself a couple of times a day or put somewhere that you see it regularly is as follows i attract loving and fulfilling relationships all right well let's move on to numerology number six is associated with this and when i read out these words you're going to be like yeah 100 percent. this is exactly what we were talking about harmonious loyal dependable sensual and compassionate. So the beginning few words are very much Libra yeah. in terms of balance, that balanced approach to things. Yeah. And then loyal, sensual, compassionate, very much heart related, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It all clicks together, doesn't it? And the interesting thing is that D writes these sheets. I write my meditation and my description, and we don't really see what each other have mm. until we're talking now. What we always recommend at New Moon, our final bit of journaling that you might want to do is make a note of doing some intention setting. So maybe you want to take some time after this recording ends to just jot down what is achievable, manageable, desirable for you to achieve over the next lunar phase for the next 28 days. So that when we meet at the next New Moon, you're, you look back and you're like, wow, I really did some awesome stuff this month. Yeah. Those are the journaling points. So everyone, work on your heart chakras and enjoy New Moon in Libra, hey? Mm. It's a good Have one. Have a lovely New Moon. See <laughs> Thanks you for the next moon. Moon. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed that and you want more from us, why don't you head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash we knew the moon and check out some bonus content. Also, if you want to stay up to date, you can follow us on our Facebook page at we.new.the.moon. If you could leave us a review on our Facebook page, that would mean a lot. Our Instagram handle is the same as our Facebook, at we.new.the.moon. We are on Twitter, at we knew the moon one And we are also on Pinterest. Just search for We Knew the Moon. Finally, if you want lots more fun, moon info, and all things spiritual, plus our lovely shop, please visit our website, we knew the moon.co.uk. 